I'm your family's personal chef, Mike Moses. Today, I am going to make ravioli. I made homemade pasta a couple weeks ago. You can check out the video link down below. Making ravioli from fresh pasta takes a lot of patience and practice. And we're gonna do that coming up. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, or if you'd like to see more of these, please subscribe. All right, let's get started. Nice and easy. We have our pre-made pasta sheet that we made the other day. Nice and thin. You can almost see through it. What I'm going to do with this pasta sheet is cut out some raviolis. First of all, I want to dust the board, because that is important to keep stuff from sticking. Making ravioli takes a lot of practice. A, you've got to practice making your pasta, and B, you've got to practice making the raviolis. Now, in order to do this, you don't want to jump right off and make raviolis with lobster right away. You need to practice. So what I've done is, I've taken some bruschetta, mashed potatoes, caramelized onions, and that will be my filling for today's ravioli. We're going to take a ring, and we're going to lightly dust it so it doesn't stick, and we're going to cut out some ravioli. The secret to making a ravioli is not to overfill it. You use a regular spoon, grab some of your filling, pre-shape it before you put it on your ravioli. Pop it right in the middle. You should have, I guess that's about an inch, all the way around. That will give you room to use your egg wash. Your filling a little goes a long way. We're gonna egg wash edges, just very lightly. Just enough to stick. Here is the technique for making a ravioli. We'll take one in the middle. Take your thumb, line it up, press on the top, press on the bottom, pick up and then all the way around squeeze the edges. With one thumb you're pushing, with one thumb you're pulling. Keep going all the way around. You don't want any air inside. You should have ravioli that's bumpy on both sides. Let's try it again. Let's do another one. On the top, your thumb, pull it down, pick it up, Push and squeeze, push and squeeze. So to trim a ravioli, sort of on the top, you wanna to make, almost have it look like an eyeball. As you can see, looks pretty good. There's our five raviolis ready for the pot. All right, now we're gonna put our raviolis in the water. Remember to move your pot that way, nothing sticks to the bottom. Okay, in a bowl, we will take some olive oil, just a little, pepper, and some kosher salt. Just a little, season very gently. And now, we'll put our raviolis out. And we'll just spin them around in the olive oil, salt and pepper, very gently. We just want to coat them. First thing we'll do, we'll put down some tomato chutney. This will give it our lift. Put it right on top. I'll try to have all the points pointing inwards for presentation purposes. Piece of parsley on each one. Another little drizzle of olive oil. And there is your test raviolis. I hope you like them. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these, please subscribe. In fact, if there's something you would like to see in particular, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. I look forward to helping you 
eat healthier, shop smarter, and cook better.